can you give to our God? What can you give, church? What can you give? You are worth returning for yes. that we are worth I returning know. for yes Jesus. there's only one thing that God is asking us to worship him yes so let us long to be that bride that is worth returning for yes hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, church, sing out loud. Sing out loud for the, for the Lord, for our God. I have no earthly love, but I am holding to Yes, wala tayong pinanghahawakan, kundi yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon.
more than a song. I will give anything. Come on, church. Say, I will give anything. Just say, I will give anything. Anong kaya mong ibigay sa ating Panginoon?
just been singing just resonates with what God's saying to me and has done for ages now um, about giving everything. Yes, Lord. Giving everything to giving God. Everything. You know, Romans 12, verse 1 says, present your bodies as a living yes, Lord. sacrifice. Hallelujah. A living sacrifice. Yes, Lord. Which is your reasonable service. Yes, Jesus. And the word reasonable, it means intelligent and logic. For us to be a living sacrifice isn't reasonable to us in our natural minds. Hallelujah. Nor is Galatians 2.20. Yes. When Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ, Hallelujah. yet I live. It doesn't make sense. How can we be dead and yet live? Well, Jesus says it in Philippians 5, I think. He says, let this mind that's in me be in you, in Jesus. Let it be in you. That Jesus humbled himself. We sang it just now, humbling ourselves yes, at his throne. Hallelujah. Jesus humbled himself, just coming down as a new yes, man Lord. from the beauty and glory of heaven. Yes, but then Jesus. it says he humbled himself, making himself as a human being, but human became being. obedient to death. Yes, Lord. And that's what we are to have this same mind as Christ, to be obedient. Yes. yes Not yes. just give up this and give up a bit of that, Hallelujah. but ourself. To yes, be Lord. a living sacrifice. Amen. Hallelujah. And last weekend I was sharing with this with some Ghanaian Christians up in Liverpool. And I was talking about the cost of revival, the cost of anything. It's ourselves. Hallelujah. And I had forgotten. I just found it and then it came back. Just now, as we were singing this, what it says in Isaiah 55 about the cost. Hallelujah. And I want to just read you these verses from Isaiah 55. Verse 1. This is God saying, Ho, everyone that thirsts, come you to the waters. And he who has no money, come you, buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Now that's another weird thing. How can we buy something without money? But that's in the natural. Here God is saying, come and buy me without money. So what's the currency? What is it that we offer God? It's ourselves. It's ourselves. And it says, verse 2, wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread and your labor for that which doesn't satisfy you? Hearken diligently unto me, that you eat that which is good, and let your soul delight yourself in its fatness. The fatness, the glory, the richness, the very person of Jesus in our souls. Incline your ear and come unto me here, and your soul shall live. So, Lord, thank you. We're here, Lord, today. And Lord, we offer ourselves in our feeble little ways. And we ask you, Lord God, to help us to really give ourselves to you. Everything, everything about us, Lord, our desires, our fears, our good bits, our bad bits, Lord, everything. Teach us your ways, oh God. Thank you that you gave your life for us. And you want us to give our lives for you, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name, that you can live your life in us and through us and out of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus, Lord, Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah.
everybody lift your hands as we sing this praise. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. 